Tonight's racing show is brought to you by Cad Rack Construction, um, Brody Manning Motorsports, and um, Dan Henning Microsprint and Cage Cart Wings. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is really awesome time to get everybody in the race cars, get everybody ready for some main event action, because tonight on the Joshua and Oliver S. Full Throttle Racing Show, hashtag one on YouTube, we have with us Mr. Braxton Flats. Welcome to the show, Braxton. Thanks, Josh. So, Braxton, let's talk about your racing career. How did you end up in this awesome sport? Um, my dad um raced when like before I was born and then like once I was old enough he just got me started into racing. So Okay. So when you first got into racing, Braxton, did you have some goals that you had set for yourself? Um, probably to just do good at that point because like when I just started I was like so young and um like I just like wanted to do good so okay so braxton um have you achieved some goals that you that you had initially set for yourself uh yeah i achieved my goal of winning the tulsa shootout that's probably the biggest goal i've had and uh, i achieved that so yeah okay so braxton um what's an what's an awesome day at the races look like for you uh, just quick time, win my heat race, and win the feature, honestly. Just one thing at a time. Okay. So, Braxton, what's a, what's an awesome day at the race shop look like for you, then? Um, just help my dad work on the car. Sometimes help my dad work on my brother's car. And, um, it's just fun having, like, spending time with my dad in the shop sometimes. Okay, so what other racing career goals do you have for yourself in the racing world? Um, well, someday I want to race NASCAR, so, like, that's probably, like, a goal in the future. Okay, okay. So, Braxton, um, do you have any big races on your calendar this year, this year yet, that you're looking forward to racing at? Uh, probably all the KKM stuff and, um, like, like California and all that, all those places. Okay. So Braxton, um, so does racing get pretty stressful for you, for you some days? Um, eh, not really. Not really? So Braxton, um, where did your racing number come from? Uh, my dad used to be number, um, well, no. Well, in my go-kart, I used to be number 88 because my dad used to be number 88. But, uh, for CB Industries, um, I just got the number when I started, so. Okay. So, Braxton, um, who do you look up to as a race car driver? Uh, everybody who works on my car, my dad, and, um, like, just everybody who helps with my racing. Okay. So, Braxton, who's your favorite race car driver? Uh, probably, like, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, um, and, like, all those big-name guys. Okay. So, Braxton, do you have a racing nickname? Um, I think it's pro- I'm probably going to name the Mammoth Missile, probably, because Mammoth is my hometown, and, um, yeah. Okay, so Braxton, um, uh, so do you have any crazy stories you'd like to share with us about your racing career? Um, well, um, so when I started, I just spent a ton of time going to my local track, Sebastian Speedway, uh, and I just got a ton of laps in, and then I started to get pretty decent at it, so we went to my first race, and then at my first race, I got second, so we figured, hey, maybe I'd be good at this, so 
we started going to Iowa a little bit, and I started doing good there, and um, yeah. So, Braxton. So, Braxton, um, what is um, um, so what do you tell kids that want to get into racing? Um, always follow your dreams and uh, practice makes perfect. You gotta like practice to be like really good. So, so Braxton, um, what? How does it feel to be a race car driver and win races? Uh, it's really fun. Like I love racing. I've loved it since as long as I can remember. So. It's just a really awesome sport, like, and it's my favorite sport of all time, and it's just super fun. So, do you compete in any other sports besides racing, Braxton? Um, no, not really, honestly. Not really, not really. Okay, so Braxton, um, yeah. so when you win races, how do you celebrate your victories? Um, sometimes we go to eat places and sometimes we just like go around the pits and say good job to all the other drivers. So. Okay. Okay. So Braxton, um, how do you get mentally focused to go out and do this? Uh, I just like relax in the trailer and, um, like I just relax in the trailer. Um, I pray to God. And, um, I just, like, I just, like, I just got to be focused, so. So, Braxton, okay, what is your, okay, give me a list of maybe your top five racetracks, that, favorite racetracks that you've raced on. Um, Texas, uh, is probably up there for, like, Texas is probably third. Fort City Raceway is probably number one. Tulsa Expo Raceway is probably number two. And um, I like, it's just, I honestly love um, Tulsa too. Like all those Oklahoma racetracks, I really like. And um, yeah. Yeah. So Braxton, what's, what's some tracks that you really don't like? Um, I like, I actually like all the tracks, so, um, like, it's, like, I'm probably thinking, I'm not, I, I don't really like indoor tracks, honestly. Okay, okay. Except for Tulsa, except for Tulsa, I like Tulsa. So, Braxton, uh, So Braxton, um, when it comes to your racing, um, do you have a racing page that the racing fans can follow you on? Um, Braxton Flat Flat Out Motorsports for Facebook, um, and X. It's Braxton. It's um, at Braxton Flat, and then take and then Instagram. It's at Braxton Flat, and um. All the and then TikTok, it's Braxton Flat, I think, and um, yeah. So Braxton, um, so ladies and gentlemen, go hit up Braxton Flat Flat Out Racing on Facebook, right? And then Braxton Flat on um, X, Braxton Flat also on Instagram, and then also, yeah, go go catch up with Braxton on TikTok, also on Braxton Flat. But um, Braxton, so um, how do you think your sponsors at the end of the year? Um, I just well, last year um, I got a picture for them of like one of the bigger races. Um, I took a pic like I got a picture for all my sponsors of me holding up the non-winning nationals trophy at Port City, so. And I also okay. wrote him a little note too. So who do you have for sponsors, Braxton? 
Odell's out of body, Tharp Brothers, um, Flats Pumping Well, um, Reiner Farms, and uh, like just everybody who helps on the car. Are you still looking for sponsors, Brock? Yeah, we're looking for like any sponsors we can get, honestly. So. So, ladies and gentlemen, reach out to, if you want to sponsor Braxton Flat and his racing crew, reach out to Braxton Flats Flat Out Racing on Facebook, because Braxton would appreciate the sponsorship on his race car. Yeah, I so really So, Braxton, go ahead. So, Braxton, I see you got some trophies and stuff behind us. You want to kind of give us a tour of what you got behind you? Yeah, so, um, up there, we got my, um, Texas hat. Beside that is the driller, and um, we got some of my hats, and um, we got one of my heart series hats right there. Um, we got my fourth place for Millbridge Speedway, um, for points there. Um, we got a picture of me when I was just starting racing, and um. We also got these K1 gloves that K1 custom made for me when after I won the shootout. Um, I got this watch right here from when I won the shootout. And um, right here, we got the Outlaw Nationals Junior Sprint trophy for the second night. And then over here, we got the non-wing nationals trophy and um those are probably my biggest trophies in the thing very cool uh, braxton that's pretty awesome thank you so so braxton what do you think of this whole racing show uh i like it it's, it's really cool um thanks for putting this on this is this is really cool not a problem. So, Braxton, I'm at this phase right now in my racing shell where, you know, I kind of like to do something pretty special for my guests. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw the mic over to you, and you can ask me some questions if you have any. All right. Um, who's, like, your fa who's your favorite person to talk with, like, on this show? I'm going to be honest with you. All of you guys. All of you guys. Um, who's like the most famous person that you ever talked with on this show? Um, okay. Okay, we started out with Facebook Live, so let's go back to that genre. So I actually got to talk to um, one of the former USAC Silver Crown drivers and one of the former NASCAR drivers. I had a chance to talk to Shane Meal. Nice. I've had, I've, I've had Shane Stewart on the racing show, World of All Out Driver Shane Stewart. Nice. Um, also, also on here, Braxton, I've had Jerry Coons Jr., um, Dave Darlin, um, and also Braxton. I also was able to sit down and talk with a couple of years ago. Go back into my YouTube gallery, um, video video gallery. I was able to sit down and talk to a really famous last name in racing, Braxton. Um, I was able to sit down and talk to Oliver and Sebastian Weldon. Their dad was the two-time Indianapolis 500 champion, Dan Wallen. Nice. It's cool. Um, yeah, and Oliver, and Oliver and Sebastian are a little bit older than you, and they are already starting to focus on, you know, possibly race an IndyCar in the next few years. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Hopefully one day – um. Hopefully one day I'll be racing NASCAR and all that. Yeah, so Braxton, do you watch the Indy 500? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Most of the years. Okay, so what do you like about the Indy 500, Braxton? Um, it's just like a cool racetrack. I like the bricks. Um, I like that there's bricks for the um, start and finish line. I think that's cool. Do you know how fast those Indy cars go, Braxton? No. No, how fast do they go? 240 miles an hour. Wow. 
That's cool. And I'll tell you what, Braxton, do you know what happens when you win the Indy 500? What? Well, one, you get a check separate from your crew. Your check alone as a driver is over three and a half million dollars. Whoa. That's a lot. And then you get a um, Diamond Championship Indy 500 ring, plus you get the Borg Warner Trophy. And then on top of that, you get a wreath when you go into Victory Lane. But you also get a great big glass bottle of milk that you take a few sips out of and you can dump over your hat. Yeah. And then on top of that, Braxton, on top of that, Braxton, here's a question for you. Do you know what one of the title sponsors of the Indy 500 is? Uh, no, I really forgot. Chevrolet. And you know what happens if you win the Indy 500? Yeah, if you if no better yet if you win the Indy 500 and depending on what kind of car you like via Chevrolet you could end up with a brand new Corvette out of the deal. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you forever known in history as the Indianapolis 500 champion. <gasps> Just imagine, Braxton, what it's like to get down to those last few laps and you're one, leading the Indy 500 and your crew's like, um, Braxton, just calm down. You've got two laps to go. You're leading by like four and a half seconds. Just calm down. Calm down. And you're getting – the emotions are starting to come upon you and you cross that finish line and winning the Indy 500. Just imagine what, what your emotions will be would be like if you won that race. My – that would be – that would be a dream. That would be, like, crazy. My emotions would definitely be very, very high. I'd probably be crying in happy tears if I won that thing. That'd be cool. Do you know how many people go and watch the Indy 500 each year? I'm guessing a lot. 500,000 people. <gasps> that's, that's crazy. That's the word. It's called the world's largest sporting event. And I'll tell you, Braxton, and I'll tell you what, Braxton, when you go to the track as a driver, you get to take in a bunch of stuff. One of the things you get to take in is every day you go to the track, because you have to be in Indianapolis for a whole month. Every day that you go to the track, you have a police escort to and from the track. And nice. when you're, when you're there and you have, you have uh, team meetings, you have stuff like that. And what's really, Quite interesting, Braxton, is you you don't have to be there till a certain time, but your crew has to be there by 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. They don't get to go home till about midnight every day for 30 days. Whoa. Um, I actually went to the I actually went to the race to watch the NASCARs. And um like I got one of those pit pass and I got to kiss the bricks. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So, Braxton, I would love to have you back on here again sometime in May, maybe June, to kind of give us an update as to what's going on with your racing career, if that would be possible. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, Braxton, I would like to thank you for being on our racing show tonight, getting to know you a little bit better. So, which state are you from, Braxton? Um, I'm from Illinois. Okay, okay, okay. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Braxton Flats. Definitely go check him out at Braxton Flats Flat Out Racing on Facebook. And then go check him out on Instagram and X and I'll tell you, TikTok. Definitely, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you again, Braxton Flats. The 2023 winner of the Chili Bowl. Uh, not the Chili Bowl, but the Tulsa Shootout, sorry. The Tulsa yeah, Shootout. Thanks, Josh, for having me. Thank you very much, Braxton. I'll have you go ahead and step out, and I will thank you. I will call you in a little bit to thank you in person, okay? All right. Thanks, Josh. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Braxton Flats, a.k.a. Braxton Flats, Flat Out Racing from Illinois, the 2023 winner of the Tulsa Shootout. Um, 
ladies and gentlemen. So go check him out on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. Um, but also, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to um, kind of give a little racing news update. Every, uh, a lot of the microsprite kids are in Decoy, Illinois this weekend. Good luck to them. Um, also, um, Tristan Pena is racing his late model this weekend. Good luck to Tristan Pena. And Mikey Moore the third is racing in the um, Outlaw Cart Nationals out in California. So good luck to Mikey Moore the third. But um, ladies and gentlemen, other than that, everything is getting underway. Um, also, good luck to um, David Milazar. He is um, racing his crate uh, sportsman tonight. Good luck to David Milazar. But um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you would like to sponsor our racing show or be on our racing show, feel free to email us at jjnolan151 at gmail.com gmail.com or you can call our texas at 712-209-7138 um but with that being said ladies and gentlemen you guys have a good night catch you later on another episode of the olive josh Mullen and oliver s full throttle racing show hashtag one on youtube